Uh, and normal start. We've had some a lot of dishes. Hi everyone, and welcome to uh, welcome to Sunday. Today is a particularly odd day for me um, because I woke up pretty late. Um, yesterday I slept in. It was the first time in a long time I didn't set an alarm. Um, and I, I felt refreshed and I felt good. Although, last night before bed, I had a, uh, a pretty bad case of vertigo, which I hadn't experienced in a bit. And I don't know if that affected me for this morning and like how I slept, but um, when I went to bed last night, I set an alarm and I knew it wasn't gonna be like a full night's rest, but I was like, eh, I wanna get up at a you know a fairly reasonable time. So I did, woke up, Mal woke up, and I had only been up for a little bit, and I just got really exhausted. Mal got out of bed, and I laid my head down. And she's like, are you gonna get up? We're gonna have some food? And I was like, eh. And then I slept, and I slept for hours. And I woke up again. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I, I've, I've been up a little bit. It wasn't completely dark by the time I woke up, but it was, this is the latest I've slept in months, probably. I, I don't think that I've woken up this late in many, many months. Fun. The other fun thing is that I had another vertigo spell today. <laughs> and there's not really a lot you can, you can do about it. Uh, you know, once I had vertigo for the first time, they told me, they're like, you know, once you had this, this is something that you will just deal with. There will be times where it just happens. And I'm like, okay, so there doesn't seem to really be a rhyme or reason for it, but having two, you know, episodes of it back to back, you know, in two days, uh, sucks. You know, and they're not long episodes, but they're severe enough for that I have to like step away from what I'm doing because I'm worried I'm gonna like fall out of my chair. Um, yeah, not ideal. Anyway, it's the evening now and I'm, I'm feeling a little bit better than I did earlier. And certainly, God knows I've had enough sleep. We're doing uh, we're doing soup tonight. We've talked about these before, but these are these are a great deal. This is Bear Creek. This is the potato soup. What is this? Secret. Where did when did we get these? When I had to do the Target order to get my cashew butter. Yeah. I needed like five dollars for free shipping, and shipping was five dollars. And that was five dollars. So we basically got free cheddar biscuits. Basically. I was told to do double the cheese according to the reviews. Okay. God. We haven't been inside of a restaurant since March. Uh -huh. And like Red Lobster is not anywhere near my favorite restaurant, but no matter who you are, man. You gotta give it up for those cheddar biscuits. They are so good and absolutely, definitively, objectively the best part of going to Red Lobster. There's been times that I've went to Red Lobster, uh, Lobster before and ordered a meal and ate almost none of my meal and filled up on biscuits and then took the rest of the meal home and ate it later. Certainly I'm not the only person that's ever done that. Potato soup smells so good. And then also this is, you know, certainly an unexpected but pleasurable surprise. They look good. Yeah, I mean, I've never had the the home version, so I Me guess either. I guess we'll try them. If nothing else, they look remarkably like the real thing. Remarkably. The question is, how do they taste? Oh wow. Oh wow. They good? What's the inside look like? Good. Like. That is basically, that is basically a real thing, man. It tastes, it tastes basically the same. Like, I, I can't really discern any difference here. They're good. That's impressive. Man, I'm so glad that we have these. Thank you for thinking of this. This is like, this is a really unexpected treat. I doubled the cheese. You doubled the cheese? Mm -hmm. That's what all the reviews said. Hmm. But otherwise, yeah, they were super easy. Mm. God, they're good. 
It's like we went to Red Lobster and didn't order any seafood, but you know, that's fine. You're allowed to do that. Anyway, that's really good. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Short and sweet. Thank you so much for watching. If you see those Red Lobster things in the store, pick them up. Like Mal says, double the cheese, but these are astoundingly good and very, very, very authentic to the restaurant experience. And again, those are the best part of, of Red Lobster. <laughs> it's not that Red Lobster is a bad restaurant, but like, this is my favorite thing. I'm making crumbs. Thanks for watching. Let's be back tomorrow, shall we?